been a hot minute since I've done um, movie stuff for part of my review show. Um, one thing that always seems to bring me back uh, to the non-movie stuff without even slightest bit of fail is when one of the previous items we've reviewed suddenly gets a sequel or something a new pops up with them. Enter once again the monster serials. Uh, I've been reviewing them since I think year one or year two of reviewing. Um, a couple years back, they uh, made me do a sequel because they had brought back some of the original flavors that they had made up until the late 80s. And it was the first time we could get them for a long period of time. And now they've done it again. This time, instead of separate different cereals, they brought us Monster Mash, which promises to be a combination of all five flavors, which is something I actually did on my la previous reviews uh, recordings. So, Monster Mash, then. And if I can find it, uh, apparently they uh, did their own recordings as these characters to the actual song of Monster Mash. So I might be using that, or at least a snippet of that, if I can find it. But anyways, I'm going to open this up, and we're going to try it and see if it's as good as, or better than, when I did a combination myself. Also, I want to have a look around and see if they are indeed all the monster flavors. Hmm. The cereal pieces seem to just be a combination of uh, Frankenberry and maybe Blueberry or, Ch uh, or Count Chocula. Maybe both, actually, because I think I see a third color in there. I think the only way the other cereal pieces are getting involved is by marshmallows, which they did have a wide variety of different colored marshmallows. Let's see if I can... Show you as best I can here. So, yeah. And let's see here if I can find. I'm actually not even seeing them make different colors of marshmallows. At least that was what was promised to us on the cover here. So, I'm already kind of, hmm, about this. And sorry about the bad hair. But, uh,. I'm recording this as part of my breakfast, so let's give this a try. Hmm. Honestly, I can't tell one flavor apart from the other, which is the thing with mixing them up previously. I honestly don't know if they're actually properly putting all the flavors in, or if they're just doing basic frosted shapes, and you can't tell the difference either way. So, as it is, it's not going to be bad. It's an okay sit-through, but I'm not convinced. I don't even see half of these, uh, actually, I can see a couple of them, but I don't see, see that the bat or the ghost I don't see for marshmallows, and I don't see one of the yellow pieces for marshmallows. Meanwhile, the two cereal pieces, which look to be blueberry and frankenberry, are the only ones I seem to see here, and I think some of the third color might be just some rub off. So, while they try to visually represent everything here, I don't think you'll get a visual representation of all of them in one bowl. And, uh, I honestly don't think the marshmallows have a flavor outside marshmallow flavor, so not all the flavors are represented. So, for what it is, it's an okay cereal, and you'll get through it just as quickly or as easily as any of the other favorite monster flavors you might like. But otherwise, I'm going to say this is kind of like a half-hearted attempt, like maybe a five or... Mm, I won't give it a completely mediocre. 
it's still edible food. So like maybe a six or seven out of ten. Um, if you really want us to come back hard for a big mashup of monster cereal, ooh, that was a moth. Um, not sure where that came from. Uh, if you really want us to come back at big time and be really happy with it, you actually need to have all the flavors. But for what it is, that's okay. Um, I'm keeping an eye on that moth. Not even sure where it came from. But anyways, uh, that's it. That's my thoughts really quick. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my cereal. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you all next time.